Share us one thing that you learned from your acting workshop. As I said, walang kayahan. The original is better. Okay? Thank you. Ako siguro yung natutunan ko yung characterization. Kasi I remember I had a, uh, a two, year, uh, two years ago I had a show sa ABS din yung ngayon na kailanman wherein I played um, babaeng, ay uh, baklang squatter. So, can, uh, what I did was I really had to rent four days sa squatter. Nag-rent ako ng house sa squatter to really be friends with yung mga bakla sa squatter and how they they act, kung paano sila, yung mga nuances nila. So yun, ginaya ko yun. Yung mga baklang parlorista ng squatter, inano ko siya, pinag-aralan ko siya. Hindi lang siya basta-basta kasi papag, pag binibigay sa akin ako, bakla na naman ako, so ganito yung bakla lang. Hindi eh. Kailangan mo siyang aralin kung anong klaseng bakla kasi maraming klase ng bakla. So ayun po, yun yung natutunan ko, characterization. It's not an easy, it's not an easy thing to do, but it's a process where an actor can really be an actor if, you know, you did a good job in doing it. Thank you. Well, syempre, as a student of uh, Direct George, but I'm probably, yeah, student of Direct George, so yeah, uh, as a student, but I'm not a student, pero ang um, pinaka-tumatak sa akin is yung yung kung saan mo huhugutan. Kasi we all have uh, different styles kung saan mo, kung saan ka huhugot ng emotions. Well, for me, uh, sa akin, yung paghugot is from the past. Parang, i, kung ano yung binigay sa yung script, uh, hugutin mo from your past. Parang doon ka huhugot para makarelate ka doon kung, kung sino yung nasa character na yun. Ayun po. Um, maybe for me, it's about thinking and growing outside of the box. Because, uh, parang yun siya sabi nila na hugot, characterization. Ang never ko na kalimutan na sinabi sa akin ng teacher ko before um, sa JMA was hindi pa yung mas taka sa isang character lang, isang peg lang. Same goes with the emotion. Because, sure, different na tao iba iba na ramdaman. Different na klase ng ta ng character. Iba-iba na naramdaman. So as an actress, I've always been major risky in terms of opening my emotions to everything. Ayun, medyo tatadapak tayo ng konti. Pero it's all part of the creative process po of an actress. So to sum it all up, maybe it's always growing outside of the box. Continuous growth all the time. Ayun, for me naman as an actor, mga natutunan ko sa workshop is letting go of all your inhibitions. Kasi ako, introvert talaga ako eh. Mahihanin ako if you talk to me on a normal setting. Pero kapag pinasok mo na ako sa set, ipagawa mo sa akin tayo kung gagawin mo talaga. So yun, nasa napar talaga, kailangan mo transform yung sarili mo. Let go of lack of fears mo, lack of anxieties mo. Lay it out on the floor lang. So yun, yun, natutunan. Sapsi, gano'n sa'yo yung hotel change. Confidence. Confidence. Parang kasi, since acting is really different from the budget now, so na na feel ko from my first workshop until the second and the third ako. The first and two, I felt really awkward because I'm not confident sa ginagawa ko, and people can really see through my eyes exactly that my emotions. Parang I'm just thinking what I'm doing. I don't feel it. But because I'm not confident at all, and I feel so awkward, but during Taylor Brand, parang it helped me grow, it helped me to be more confident of my character, na sure ako sa ginagawa ko, and I know na emotions yung pinapagod ako, I'm not thinking, so parang you can connect directly to the people who are watching you, and to the actors na nakakasama mo, because I know I'm confident and I'm sure of what I'm doing, and then, also, one thing more is when you're confident means that inaral mo yung rules mo and yung parang ko. Yeah. Um, sa ano naman po, dapat uh, nakafocus ka po din sa karakter na gagawin mo, din sa role, para um, pag-aralan mo, ganun, um, tingin ka po ng ibang ideas para mas lumawak mo po yung kaalaman sa acting. Uh, yung sa akin naman yung ano, 
yung kung paano ka bibitaw dun sa character mo. I mean, kasi like, hindi ka naman pwede kumuwi, kumuwi ng bahay mo na yun pa rin yung character mo. Kailangan na mapahiwalay mo yung character na pinortray mo. Kasi what if you have another shoot na iba yung character mo, hindi mo siya pwede mapaghalo. So yun yung pinaka, ano ko, pinagka. So you're asking me why I chose the general romantic comedy versus the thriller? Yes, yes, exactly. Oh yeah, I wrote uh, I wrote two thrillers called Eyes, but if I'm going to shoot all the eyes in the Philippines, that would be a very, very expensive There's The budget is going to be enormous. So uh, me and the DJ, we have a plan to uh, turn that into a script and shoot it for the uh, American audience. So I'd like to write this uh, Crazy in Love with You. This is a romantic comedy. So as you can see, you know, it does not require a higher budget and it's a light story. So, you know, I this is the first film, so I don't want to go do the thriller because that number one is a heavy, heavy story, you know. It's a, it's very complicated. So I prefer to shoot that in the US for the uh, American audience. You mean, isn't it possible to to water down your uh, best thriller of the of the five, you've got so much uh, intriguing thriller. Can it not be uh, watered down in Philippine settings since we are also into information technology? Can it not be just a matter of watering down? And what is important here is you got hold of your your uh, content, your material. Yes, but. Uh... Uh, on the uh, on the marketing perspective, I think that um, it, it is best that I shoot that in the American audience because again, even if I water it down, it will be uh, the budget will be enormous. So at this point, I'm still in the process of uh, trying to get investors for that uh, you know for that genre, which is the whole guys, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, again, I think if I'm gonna filter it down, if I'm gonna remove all the complicated stuff, then it's gonna be as interesting as when I go in. So again, I have my uh, heart and mindset to shoot that for the American audience. <laughs> okay, last class. Last class. Last class. Have you been crazy in love yourself? <laughs> Am I crazy in love myself? <laughs> well. However, when I wrote that book, uh, that, I mean that script, uh, that one is a reflection of me and my experience uh, in one point of my life. So that was my reality at one time. So again, the story is very close to my heart because again, uh, this is a reflection of my experience. And I'm, I'm very happy to be that uh, I think that uh, Troy and Mike, you know, they pick the right cast. I see Nico right there. He's very tall, very good looking. He's perfect for uh, uh, Dr. Mark Bell. And I see Pat James there, you know, all that stuff. Uh, MJ, you guys are perfect. All of you. Okay, thank you. you I love love. I think I like your acting. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. We hope to meet you soon here in the Philippines.
Once again, abangan po natin lahat by next year hopefully. Ang crazy love.